next day after doing the engine clean let's have a look oh yeah look at that blue wow there's only little tiny tiny little specks of rust that's all it is that is going to clean up nice wow and i've only got that hole there to repair that's it <laughs> that's good and obviously that one down there as well but i'll get to that when i get to this All just surface rust. Battery tray is perfect. Underneath the battery tray is good. That engine caught clean. Oh yeah. I can get to all the bolts in there. I can even get to these bolts because they're clean now. Take these off. Excellent. Unfortunately, my new panel got dirty from the spray. I'll clean that up there. I am really amazed. I mean, look, it literally is just surface rust. All that will just clean off. I'm going to get some more uh, rust treatment and I will brush this whole engine bay down with it and then I'll sand it. And get it in some nice primer. Obviously, I'll repair these holes first. Got a bit more shaping of this to do so it curves in a bit better. Nice. All right, I'm going to do some work today start getting that scuttle off and then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like underneath back to it there I took the wing off what I've noticed there's a bit of metal here it's not even connected okay oh, I haven't got the jacking point thing down here that sits here that don't matter because I've never used them anyway. That's obviously going to get repaired with a seal. But why is this not connected? See, it's connected to it. That's not normal. That is weird. I think somebody's added this, welded in a new plate, but not bothered doing up the top. Hmm. Strange. I'll have to look at that. But my main concern is checking underneath all of there. Why wouldn't you bother connecting it? That is really weird. And this is the original panel because it's got blue paint on it. Oh. It's got blue paint on it. It's the original panel. But it's not connected up the top. That is weird. Unless somebody's replaced this top section at some point, but not welded it in. Strange. I suppose it makes my life a bit easier when I need to take this section off. <laughs> I'll be back with you when I start removing the scuttle. Might just have to replace that old piece. May as well. Very strange indeed. I completely took this off. It's like someone put it on and never finished it. So I've now got access to in there now. So I can now make that panel to go up to here. And I've cut those because I'm going to put new ones on. And it came right off up to there. 
made my life easier. Thank you very much. <laughs> there from there. And there you go, a nice workspace. See, that panel is original, it's got all the paint on it. But I have a feeling they might have cut it, but never bothered welding it to the new inner wing section. Which don't make sense. Although they could have welded it here actually. Yeah. Perfect. Right, I'm going to get on with some more. I'll be back with you. One scuttle panel off. And it's not too bad in there. Wow. That looks pretty good. Did a repair there. Good clean up. Let's have a look around the other end. And here. Not bad at all. Still got to get this one off though. So I'm get further down onto the dashboard and not up here. But yeah. I've uh, cut it off because it's going to need new lips for the scuttle anyway. I didn't see the point spot while it was rotting all the way across. It's starting to rain now. Typical. Really good. That is absolutely good in there. Solid. Just need a good clean up. And my scuttle repaired. But I need to get the dash off, so I'm going to have to start doing these spot welds when I actually get my spot welding tool. Spot remove, I mean. So, I'll be back with you when I get on with some more. But this is it so far, and it's looking really good. Just got to get this off, so I can do all the repairs underneath there. Brilliant. So, that's it. I'll be back with you shortly. to now take the bottom section off which is in pretty good to order I'm going to replace these lips on the end of this and possibly do some work on the inside of the um, dashboard when they all come out I'll be back with you when I've continued getting progress so I've done so far all that's off scuttle and bottom panels off that's the damage not too bad I'm going to be repairing the bottom panel and the scuttle after I've repaired these. And this is over here. Not bad at all. I've got to make new lips here, unfortunately. They're rotting a bit. That won't take me long. And that is the scut scuttle and bottom panel. I will be repairing these after I've finished all of that. Yeah. Not bad at all. Now that I can get under here, my new panel here, I can now replace this bit all the way across here. And like the new plate coming all the way up to here, which joins in on it here. And that's what I've got down here. 
I've got to repair the door posts. But it's all solid, it's just got problems like this. But other than that, it's not that bad. I haven't got the jacking point thing that goes here, but that will come up with the sill anyway, if I believe right. Quite rough down there. <laughs> Leaving the dash in for now, this piece, because it's acting as a support. I'll take that out when I've done the chassis rail. Not bad at all. I'm going to get on to probably repairing this side first and completing this hole yeah. might might take the rest of this off so I can get down there properly all in there clean these up This one already came off because as I showed before it wasn't even welded to this but this is the original panel because it's got a blue paint on it so they must have cut it and never bothered welding this section on and only tack welded it up here so somebody's been attempting repairs a long 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 time ago probably before it sat and then gave up or something I don't know I'm going to make a new lip from there all the way around. Well, most of the way around. I might just make a whole new lip. But at least I can get on with these bits now. And get rid of these holes. Take all of this out. I've already removed the accelerator pedal. It's alright, apart from a little bit of rock here. Uh, I have got the end piece for the light. I have got the other one of these. But that's later. That's my main concern. It's getting all that strong and redone. And then I can re repaint the bulkhead. I can get to everything now. This was what I really wanted to get to this so I can continue my repair all the way up. And like I said, I'll repair the other two panels, these two, after. I'll probably just work on them in the back garden on a rainy day or something. Under a, oh, what's it called? One of them pop-up things you can get in. Gazebo. So, that's what, I've, what I'll be getting on with. I have been advised by some people not to even bother trying to start the engine. Because of dried out bearings and stuff, it might make it more worse might damage you let me know what you guys think i can't I, i'm not sure to be honest i was going to put new oil in it anyway after i've checked all the valves and everything so let me know if you'd really like to see a startup video because i don't mind doing it I was, I'm actually, I was actually looking forward to it i don't want to damage the engine but 
I know a lot of you want to hear it run. So that's it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll get back to you when I start the next lot. More than likely tomorrow. I'm a bit tired now. So, see you soon.